Good part of the day, my dear digital friends. Anna Dieter is here. It's Saturday, May 21st, 10 a.m. in the morning in Florida, United States of America. So I'm live today and I see that a couple of people are already here, ready to chat about the big problem in their lives called stuttering, stammering, cluttering, or whatever else they call it. So what I did today, I again set everything up for multi-streaming. Multi-streaming means I am live on Instagram, on Facebook, and LinkedIn and YouTube, of course. Hopefully that the internet connection will allow us to work here. And could you please guys let me know if you can hear me well, if you could see me well, because I am using this microphone. I'm not sure if I connected it to the, I'm not asking people on Instagram because Instagram, yeah, you can hear the noise I'm talking to my phone, into my phone, but on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook, I'm using this microphone for them. So today we're gonna continue talking and increasing our stuttering awareness. I am here to answer any of your questions. And before, people join us bear with me i will share the screen i haven't prepared share screen and i'm gonna prepare to share a screen of youtube yeah that's where i want to show on youtube i think i muted it yeah <clears throat> So those of you who have been watching me on Instagram, on TikTok, I recommend you do so, especially TikTok these days. I just keep posting video after video all the time. And I am simply spreading the real awareness about what stuttering really is and what is it each and every person who stutters, stammers, clutters, or whatever you call it, can do to stop stuttering in almost no time, once and for all. So, and today, we're going to talk about the fact that I am aware of that every person who stutters on the planet is just like everyone else. You guys, if you are watching me and you still stutter, you struggle with expressing yourself by using your speech instrument made of muscles, then you simply need to learn how to do it and just leave stutter free for the rest of your life. You don't have to struggle anymore. Like right now, I just, finished my first call for today with a lady from Ghana. And every time I would ask her a question about stuttering, I saw that her eyes would become tearful and their tears would roll over her cheeks right away. So the negative emotions are so much like ruling her life negative attitude towards this mysterious stuttering sickness. So let me again remind you that I am here to answer any of your questions. And today we are going to talk about the fact that stuttering is a set of your mental blocks and your physical blocks. Of course, it all begins with a mental block and then when you are blocked mentally, when you are confused about doing something and you're not sure how to do it well, 
So you block yourself by begin doing something, beginning doing something that is wrong. And that doesn't make sense. I call it self-abusive behavior. Okay, let me go back to my, okay. So I am ready to share a very cute video with you. And if you have watched the video that I posted earlier on Instagram, it's about the bird, how the birds, okay, let me fix this. If you've seen the video I posted on Instagram with a parrot and the microphone, just like I am right now speaking in this microphone, this is the image I posted on Instagram. And I believe it's already in TikTok as well. And it's doing really well. People are watching it like crazy. So I recommend you watch it. I'm not going to show it to you right here. But I would like to share with you the little part of the video. You see on the screen a little baby. Okay, I'm going to change Instagram showing direction. Okay, you see this little baby. I want you to see it. And I want you to realize that this baby is only, what, maybe two or three months old, not more. And the baby is learning to speak. I want you to see how it happens when people, when parents, when dogs imitate words, human words they hear. This is how it happens. There is absolutely no difference in the way people and other animals and birds learn to say with accuracy and ease human words. Of course, humans are the most talented <laughs> among the creatures <clears throat> who have the tongue and the speech instrument. But please understand, this is <clears throat> the way you, when you were young, when you were born, were learning to speak. Okay, learning, beginning to learn. So are you ready? You're going to be blown away right away, <clears throat> right now. The babies you will see, I'm going to show a few. They will be hearing and watching with their eyes, watching their family member saying one phrase, I love you. And then their babies that don't have much of a consciousness yet, they immediately begin imitating this same phrase. You're going to be blown away. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm going to show a few of them, but I'm not going to show them all. Okay, am I on? No, I'm not on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to have to go to YouTube. Okay, ready? Let's go. Okay, I'm going to click here. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit back. So, second, I'm, I'm going to have to go to uh, second because it's muted here. Okay, I muted it on YouTube. Hmm. Okay, I have to unmute it then. <laughs> I have to unmute it. Okay. I love you too. What's going on? Ah, God. Okay, I gotta change microphone output for this okay i think i'm ready okay you love mama 
I love you. I love you too. I love you. I love you. Okay, that was a very cute video. Let me switch back. Okay. And go back to StreamYard. Okay. Did you see that? Okay. I'm going to go back to me on Instagram. I don't know. On Instagram, I don't even see people. Okay. So I just demonstrated to you how all young kids, all parents, all birds, all animals, even dogs, can learn to imitate humans' words. Lena, could you please let me know if you saw it, if you could hear it? Because I am dealing with different uh, platforms <clears throat> and I'm not sure you were able to hear this. I just changed the microphones and I have to go through all of this. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I see that Lena wrote a question. Is attention deficit disorder related to stuttering? This is a great, great question. <clears throat> and let me tell you thing that will shock you. Attention de Thank you so much, Lena, for your feedback. Lena wrote, yes, we can hear perfectly. Thank you. So attention deficit disorder is another big fat lie. It does not exist as a sickness, as an illness, because Operating your one indivisible beam of attention is a skill. It's a skill. We learn to move our one indivisible beam of attention. If you don't have the skill of operating your attention for speaking, then of course you will be stuttering. It all begins with you not using correctly your attention, not focusing on the right things. And then, of course, you cannot learn to speak without mistakes. So attention deficit disorder, again, it's a big fat lie. Yes, you may sometimes not focus your attention on the right things and you cannot do these things. That's all. And when students come to me and they understand what is it exactly you're supposed to focus so you would be able to speak perfectly, you need to understand where to direct your attention how to do it. This is exactly what I teach to my students. And it's very important before you direct your attention to where it's supposed to be, you should learn what the attention is. Attention is you. Attention is you focusing on certain things. And if you don't know what to focus on, your attention will be somewhere else. <laughs> because attention is always there. You know when we don't have our attention, when we lose our consciousness, when we are asleep. That's the moment when our attention doesn't work. Yes, you know what, I'm gonna quit Instagram it's a nightmare. I don't know what's going on. Looks like I'm on YouTube, but not on Instagram. I'm not going to do it. Maybe I'm going to do it separately. I don't know. Okay, Lena. Lena wrote a question. Are there any exercises that the stutterer can do to improve their focus and attention? Thank you, Anna. Lena, please understand. I just showed to you a little baby. 
a baby, a toddler. What kind of exercises did the toddler do to imitate instantly the phrase, I love you? Did you see it? You can go and Google it on YouTube and see how the babies do it. I can even show to you more. I can show to you how animals do it. Animals. If I go, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to show you that video. I'll share with you. Okay, stop. I don't like this system. It takes so much time. Okay, share screen. I will go and share with you my Instagram. Where is my Instagram? Because I know it's there. Okay. Instagram. Oh, here we go. Instagram. Share. Okay. And on my Instagram, I will go to my profile. Just bear with me. I'll show it to you. What's going on? Profile. Looks like I'm not online. Okay, I wanted to show to you. No, it doesn't work. Nothing works. Lena, could you please let me know if you can? Yeah. Okay, profile. Profile. Why can't I go to my profile? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show it to you on my phone. This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm going to show it to you this. Here we go. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Yes, I can see. I don't know what's going on with today. So you see this. Do you see this? Uh, what do you call it? Parrot. I am going to show you this video on my phone. <laughs> okay. Watch. Speaking means imitating sounds we hear. Do you know that even words can say with ease and accuracy any human word? The ravens are excellent at mimicking sounds they hear. Miss Jo, can you say hello? Good. He does all sorts of voices. Hi. Hi. Good job! So who made you believe that you cannot learn to do the same. Did you hear that? What kind of exercises did that bird, that raven do? What kind of exercises? Let me repeat again what I put in the video. Speaking is imitating. Oh, this internet connection. Speaking is imitating sounds we hear, period. So even birds can do it. Even, I'll show you more. I have it in my camera photo, so I'll go. Uh, okay, I guess I need to, I need to turn the settings off on, I mean, the Wi-Fi on. So the bottom line, while things are not working well with me technically, I'll show it to you, hopefully I'll be able to. Unable to load video and error occurred while loading a high quality version of this video. Ah, come on, okay. I'll show you this. No, I didn't bring my iPad here. Did you hear that? I love you. Did you hear that? And you can Google talking animals, talking birds, talking parrots, talking ravens. They all, thank you so much, Lena. They all are just imitating. It's a skill. 
you imitate it's a natural skill we imitate sounds we hear with moving our tongue there are no exercises needed to do that no exercises all you need to do is just to understand what it means to speak and the moment my students understand that that's it they stop struggling struggles disappeared right away please understand and the fact that you've been made believe that people need to do exercises that's the way their conventional businesses are set up because when you do exercises it means you need to come back to come back to come back to your advisor no you don't you can understand what all living creatures do, how they use their natural speech instrument just in a few hours. And then you may begin building your tongue vocabulary. Tongue vocabulary. Let me ask you another question, Lena, if you're still here. What kind of exercises did you do when you were in the first grade or even in the kindergarten when they were teaching you to write letters? Write letters. What kind of exercises did you do when the teacher told you, grab your pen and imitate the movements of my hand? The teacher would write letter A, on the class board you will look at the way the teacher wrote and you will begin moving your hand period there is nothing to exercise yeah you may need to repeat it several times so you would do it correctly of course you don't want to write it backwards or upside down or whatever this is why first graders are <laughs> moving slowly to imitate the hand movement, the muscle movements of their teacher. But after they have learned it one time, after they have written it correctly and the teacher says, yay, good job, that's it. You need to keep doing exactly the same for the rest of your life. There are no exercises. What exercises? It will never change. Letter A will always require you to make these three movements. One, two, three. Little one stick, another stick, and a little stick, short stick in the middle. That's it. Letter A. No exercises needed. Actually, I would like to share my personal experience. So I used to start a lot when giving a presentation in class. But when I started to strictly and only focus on what I am saying, it went away. Of course, of course, you paid attention to the work you were doing. That's why it went away. And when you say it, this is why I am here. This is the awareness. Awareness. What does it mean, this it, stuttering, it? It's a fantasy. It doesn't exist, okay? It's you not using correctly in coordination your body, mind, computer, Lena. That's it. And when you begin focusing on the right things, it works, <laughs> right? That's what you described. Because I notice that my attention becomes divided and distracted when I used to speak in front of people. Exactly. Lena, you are absolutely right. You notice the right thing. Attention is you. <laughs> That's very important to understand. Attention is you. Attention, to translate what attention is, is a beam of consciousness. Beam of consciousness. I like to explain what beam of consciousness is. It's like a beam of a flashlight. 
beam of light, okay? It's coming from third eye, pineal gland, okay? So depending on where you are directing your attention, for example, oh, here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. No, it's too, the light is too bright. I think I have a better flashlight somewhere here. Yeah, it's stronger. How do you turn it on? Okay, see where I'm putting my attention. I can talk about this chair because I, I focused on the chair. I can say this is a chair. Now, what's gonna happen if I'm gonna put my focus beam of attention here? I'm gonna say this is the palm of my hand. What's gonna happen if I'm gonna put my attention here? I'm gonna say this is the hair. That's what your attention is. And who is, who told you this is a disorder? No, it's not. It's coming simply from you not knowing where to put your attention, where to direct your attention to. It's very simple. And of course, it's all depending from your previous experience. If you have learned, I mean, have done a lot of speaking, if you have prepared your presentation, you've done a lot, you have developed the coordination between your body, mind, and will, all these ingredients of human being, right? If you have done it already, then you have experienced it, so you have learned your presentation. Now all you need to do is just to go and do exactly the same when you are in front of other people because other people cannot help you. Only you can help yourself. Only you can direct your focused beam of attention on the same things you have directed when you were preparing your presentation. That's what it's all about. Lena wrote, thanks for everything, Anna. My heart goes to you guys, of course. But let me explain to you, Lena, just understanding that you need to focus on the words that you are saying is great. But are you sure that your tongue has already been trained, has experienced to say each and every word with accuracy, ease, and confidence. Are you sure about that? It's very, very important to know what does it mean to speak like every person on the planet normally and not, never struggle to speak, never worry about other people looking at you, judging you, thinking about you. Never worry about it. What do you need to do? How can you help yourself? It's not enough to understand, oh, I was not paying attention in the right way. This is great, but you need to understand where you're supposed to focus. But we speak perfectly when we are alone. So I don't think there is a problem with the tongue. You know what, my dear? What you think may be not accurate. <laughs> and I have heard this so many times. Almost from all my students, from most of my students who come to me, they say, when I'm alone, I'm speaking fine. That's what you believe. But I am a scientist and I am a person who always focuses on the reality. And I always do the practical experiments. So what I do, I say, okay, let's check. So here we go. I'm leaving the room. You are alone in front of this camera. I'm going to ask you to give me a speech for about five minutes. I will leave the room. I'm not here. 
So I'm leaving the room, but I am turning my recorder on. I'm recording the speech. Then I come back, okay? And I am listening together with that person who insisted, I'm just fine when I'm speaking alone. I am, as they like to say, perfect. I'm fluent, right? That's what you wrote to me. I'm perfect. And we begin listening to the speech, five-minute speech that the person just gave to me when I wasn't around. A person was perfect as the person believed. We begin listening it together and we begin, I begin counting and pointing how many mistakes he has made or she. How many times he has or she repeated. How many times he or she moved the attention in the wrong place. I can see. I can see where your attention is. How many times you stumbled and didn't even notice? How many times you repeated the same word? These are all mistakes. All of them are not perfection. Repetition of the same word is not perfection. How many times you would say ah or ooh or mm? How many times? you have produced useless and meaningful vocalizations. How many times you've done that? These are all mistakes that you are not even aware of. And that's why when you write, I'm perfect when I'm alone, I'm not sure you're perfect, but yeah, of course, I'm sure you're better because there are no distractions, right? You don't let anyone have your attention, right? You don't distract yourself, Lena, as you said, from what you want to say. But when you're in front of other people, you don't do the same. Why don't you do the same? Why? Lena, write to me. Why don't you do exactly the same in front of other people? What you believe you're doing perfectly alone? Why? Do you know that? Do you? Write to me. If you don't know that, then you need to understand what stuttering really is. Can you read this? Your stuttering is, I don't know. This is the main problem of all people who stutter. They believe they know something, but in reality, they know things that are not reality, that don't resonate with reality. Okay, I think now you can see it. Your stuttering is your I don't know. Every time, you wonder why you cannot say the word. Every time you wonder why the word is not coming out. Every time you ask yourself, what should I do to say the word so it would come out easily? This is stuttering. This is the lack of awareness of what normal speaking is and this is a lack of coordination between three ingredients of the soup <laughs> called humans. Humans. There are three parts of the human. It's called body, mind, and will. Body, mind, and will. It's that simple. You are the one who is coordinating these three things. And we can talk about these three things only when all of them are in place and they're all coordinated. Only in this case, you can't speak. Only. Do you understand that? Okay, guys, I don't see any more questions. I see that five people are watching. I don't see any questions. 
By the way, I'm going to remind you, give me likes. <laughs> this is going to encourage me to come here and talk to you. Also, before I forget, I just shared with you the link of my Instagram. Let me see where it is. Yeah, Instagram. Our Obors. Hi, I see that you gave me hi, but you didn't write any questions. And so far, I see people on YouTube, nobody on Facebook, nobody on in LinkedIn. Okay. So before I forget, I recommend you go to my Telegram group. Okay. <laughs> Let me... No, I want to... How do I... I guess it's still here. Let me paste it here one more time. Aha. Uh -huh. This is the link to my Telegram group. I really recommend, okay, edit, copy, paste. I'm going to go and copy it into my YouTube channel. Second. I'm going to go to my YouTube, your channel. Okay, I don't see, aha, live chat. I'm going to write it here. Based. This is my Telegram link. Let me, oh, YouTube is so blurry. Oh, my God. Why? I don't know what to do about this. Okay. Telegram group. Okay, join join my telegram group i just posted it here yeah could you please guys let me know if you see me blurry don't know what to do yeah lena it's fine we can hear you yeah but look at the quality of the audio it's horrible okay let me go back to I have so much opened here, StreamYard. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing the screen. Maybe the quality is going to be better. Stop screen. Okay, new comments. Aha, uh -huh, it's fine. We can hear you. So the reason I shared the link to my Telegram, because I would like to, I mean, I have already started I created the group in Telegram. This is an amazing platform. I really like it. And it allows me to communicate with people directly. I can send the live videos, like I can walk through the day and leave you the videos. So let me show to you Telegram, Telegram. Where is it? Telegram. Okay. So the group is called Live Star Free. You see this? This is what I do. That's what I did last week. I started the group. I post some videos on it. Okay. I don't know how I do it so you could see it. Can you see it? Yeah. You see what I have, the icon, the logo of this group is... See? Second. Oh, that's what I have as a logo of my group. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it because Lena doubted that she had like tongue problems. Let's talk about it. Remind me if I forget. So anyway, there is a lot of information I have posted already, but there are only 20 people that I added to the group. So I recommend you go and join this group. See, I go and I talk and I just do video circles. I call them video circles. I can do it anywhere I am. I can answer your questions just like this. You type your question and I'll just go and answer. Okay, this is a really cool place to go to. So join my Telegram. 
what I want to do is to simply create, I mean, spread the real awareness about stuttering. I'm sick and tired of watching people giving advice and taking money for giving advice, breathe, relax, accept, and all kinds of strange advice. When all you need to do just to learn the coordination between your tongue, your all the muscles in your body, your mind, your attention, and your desire to say something. That's it. Body, mind, and will. And this can be done in almost no time. You, I've demonstrated the video for you. Even parents can do it. Even young children can do it. Even dogs can do it. It's all about imitation. And once you have imitated, then all you need to do is just keep doing, making the same movements of your tongue for the rest of your time, for the rest of your life, no matter where you are, no matter who is in front of you. That's where you're supposed to pay your attention to. Feeling your tongue moving in exactly the same way. And of course, there are two etalons in our speech. Two etalons. When I say etalon, I mean something that never changes. It's a standard. It's a, an algorithm of the action that's never different. It's always the same. In, for example, whenever we are measuring something, we are measuring with etalons, and etalon is the inches, centimeters, meters, kilometers, whatever, miles. That's the etalon. That's the standard for measurement. When we weight, we get on the scale, we weight ourselves. What etalons do we use to measure ourselves? Kilograms, grams, pounds, right? That's what we do. Those are etalons. And these etalons never change. In speaking, there are two etalons that never change. Two etalons. Etalon number one, the word. Once you have learned the word, once you have learned to imitate it with your tongue, you heard the melody of it. Once you have learned it, that's it. It will never change. The word will always be the same, right? Just like if you have learned to move your hand to write the word, you learn it only one time, and then you just do it. For the rest of your life, you move your hand muscle or finger muscle, muscles up when you are typing in the same way. It's never going to be different. All you would need to do, keep doing it and feeling that your muscles are doing a good job. So the first etalon is called the word, the melody of your voice or the voices of other people. It will never change. It will always be the same. And the second etalon is the body, the tongue. Your tongue will never change. You will always have the same tongue and you will have to learn to move it in the same way for each and every word. That's where you need to pay attention to. That's where attention should be on two etalons, on the word and on the tongue. How do you do this? That's what I'm for. I am the teacher. I am teaching each and every student depending what his problems are. I need to give you a very specific test. So I could understand and you could understand what your blocks are. Where are they? Are there more mental blocks or are there more physical blocks? Most of the time it's both. Both because when you are blocked here, you 
block your body. You do it. Okay, so there are some people are still watching me here. Are there more questions, guys? Ask your questions. Because let me look how YouTube is working now. Uh, still so blurry. I hate it. I hate it. It's so blurry. I don't know. I'm paying the biggest money from Comcast for this, for that, but it's still blurry. The internet is so weak. But when I work with my students, I work one-on-one, -on -one, so the internet is fine. I spoke with someone on Zoom this morning. It was fine. I guess Saturday is the day where people use internet the most. Yeah. Anyway, let me see if there are any other questions. Okay, Lena has been very active. Lena, let me give you a little recommendation. My recommendation is just simply come to me personally. And uh, in case you still don't know how to do it, all you need to do is to go to my, I'm going to do my best to share screen so you could understand how to do it. Number one, we're still working on the digital, on the phone version of updated livestarterfree.com website. We just created it and it's still looking a little messy on the phone, unfortunately, but on your computer, it should look fine. So I recommend you go there, but you look there, of course, you study information there because it's very, very simple. It's explained in a very simple way. And, but then I recommend you go to another site. Let me see what it is. Okay, this is TikTok. This is, is this the one? Yes, this is the one. Okay, let me go back to StreamYard. StreamYard, where are you? StreamYard. Okay, I'm going to share my website. This is another website you can go to directly from tab. Hi. Where is it? Looking, looking, looking. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. So I recommend you go to this website. It's write it down, livestarterfree.info. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to simply type it for you. <clears throat> Live starter free dot in for okay this is the website where you can see this four-step path our students follow to achieve a start of free life in as little as three days register now for this free webinar and this is by the way amazing it's not even looking blurry I'm looking blurry, but what I'm sharing is not. It's amazing to me. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to show how this works. Here we go. So when you register and it says in this online training, you will reveal. We will reveal, of course. You will discover and we will reveal the step-by-step -step approach that our students use to unblock their speech and live a life free of stuttering and do it in less time than they ever thought possible. We will also reveal why spending precious time on speech training or therapy in the least effective way to stop stuttering and what our students are doing instead. 
So you will understand, you will discover why going to speech therapist, pretty confused people. I'm not saying that they're bad people. I always emphasize that they're very nice people. They have a big heart, but they still are mistrained. They have been mistrained, miseducated. They themselves don't understand what normal speaking is, where you're supposed to pay your attention to, how to help you to learn to speak naturally with ease, comfort, and confidence in front of anyone, anytime. They don't know that. This is the reason they keep offering you all kinds of techniques and each and every technique is actually an abnormal way of speaking and a form of stuttering. So after this webinar, please view it. It's free. You don't have to pay anything. You will discover how our students have overcome their fear of speaking in public and no longer avoid social situations. You will also discover what all our students are doing differently that gives them the ability to speak accurately and confidently, even in stressful situations. Also, you will discover the secret weapon. <laughs> I like how I put it. The secret weapon our clients have used to take control of their lives so they can excel in their career and establish better relationships with their family and friends. And the last but not least, you will learn how our students are able to stop stuttering in record time, even when they thought they had tried everything, everything. Okay, I hope I put it in a clear way. So I see that people are no longer watching me. It means I have explained everything. So my recommendation, you can stop stuttering. You can get rid of stuttering in almost no time. But you got to first awaken from this nightmare. You got to increase your awareness. You got to understand what stuttering really is and learn to follow the natural speaking norms. Okay, lots of love to you and make sure you go to livestarterfree.info and you schedule your free 45 minute talk with me. And I recommend you hurry up because we are changing it to seeing me for free for only 15 minutes. And then if you want to see me more, this conversation, 45 minute conversation is going to cost you about $25. Not a lot, but still it will. Because I believe that the work must be paid and I am working nonstop. Okay, lots of love to you all. See you next Saturday if I don't have a student, a student scheduled on this time on 10 a.m. next Saturday. Join my TikTok, don't forget. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, by the way, I can actually give you TikTok. Second, I'm going to give you my TikTok. Uh-huh, my TikTok link. Edit. Copy, that's what I'm going to do. Here we go. Paste. Join my TikTok. Edit, copy, stream yard, or is stream yard, stream yard.
priest. Because on LinkedIn, you can also join me. Okay, lots of love to you. I wish you a lot of success. See you soon, one-on-one. Bye-bye.